Last mood review. Ironically enough, based on the true story of Stephen Glass, who between 1995 and 1998 wrote for The New Republic, a very well respected American news source. Stephen is the youngest of a group of mostly young journalists, and although quite successful, as the film progresses, you realize that his stories are not entirely factually accurate. I'm not going to give much more away of the plot than that. I'm not really a fan of Hayden Christensen. I have not seen him in that many things, but along with a lot of other people, to me, he is emo Anakin, and I don't even think I need to say any more than that. However, here, although at times he seems a bit emo Anakin, it somehow really works, you know, it's just further proof that those movies really were mainly George Lucas's fault. He can actually kind of act and, you know, get, you know, get your emotions going. You really get to care for Stephen Glass in this movie. Peter Sarsgaard demands mentioning in this movie. He is fantastic. He's probably the best, you know, he gives what is probably the best performance in this entire movie. And it's just fantastic. It's not even like Oscar baiting where it's like really pronounced and, you know, it's just great acting. The the characters are, you know, relatable and tend to be quite well written, and you get a sense of, you know, what they're like as people. Some of them you don't really see for very long, but you actually get to know basically what they're like. You know, it's a lot of small little loaded sequences or lines where it hints at, you know, like a good novel you get an idea of what the whole picture is like from this tiny little glimpse. I especially like how they make a genuine effort to keep Peter Sarsgaard's character, Chuck, from becoming the bad guy. Because he easily could. Because we care so much for Steven. He is so likable. And Chuck is kind of an adversary of his. But we get to see that Chuck is just a human being, and he, you know, you never completely get to hating him, although at times, you know, especially by the end of the movie, you really can't hate the guy. At least, that's what I felt. Steven's character is very, very careful and almost self-destructive, self-deprecating, very, very humble. He actually points out very early on that, you know, humility is rare in a journalist. And, you know, Christensen really delivers on that. And he hits that fine balance. He isn't completely pathetic. So, you know, when someone is pathetic and you're watching them for, you know, the movie is about 90 minutes, 90 minutes of someone who's just pathetic, that could get painful to watch. And, you know, but you you like him, you sympathize with him, you, you know, you almost want to take care of him. And, you know, that makes the outcome that much more painful, and I mean that in a positive way, because it's meant to be. It's destined, you know. The cinematography and editing are very well done. They are not flashy at all, but they, you know, 
they're subtle and effective. There's, you know, when something is, for example, if a lie is about to be, you know, revealed as being a lie, as not being true, there will be very subtle handheld camera, you know, just kind of building that tension. And that's really how it is, th how it is throughout the movie. Everything just really works. There were no shots or sequences that felt out of place or forced. The pacing is quite good. Again, 90 minutes and you really get, you really feel like you get to know these characters and you really get into the story. There was no point where I was bored or I felt like it was dragging or lost focus or anything. It's an interesting story for anyone who's even remotely interested in, you know, journalism or just this, you know, th this kind of world. And I'm not even particularly interested in it. It's just, it, it is a fascinating story. You know, such a high level of respect in the world of journalism and, you know, fabrication. It's, you know, and it is actually based on the real story, so. I suppose that's about what there is to say. If you have a chance, definitely try to watch this. You know, it's, it's just a really good drama with an interesting story and a well-told and it's well told as well. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.